Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Games Kids. Today and only today, we are here to hang out. You know, I'm not even gonna talk about anything. No, I'm kidding. Today we are here to talk about some Mario Party superstars. Right, the game's been out for a few months. I've had, you know. A lot of rage and anger from the game, as you can tell, but obviously a lot of enjoyment out of it. So I figured today I would sit down, talk about what I want to see from the future of this game, because there's a big chance for DLC. But before we get into that, y'all know the drill, you all know the way. Subscribe to your boy, we're trying to grow here. Again, we're still a very small channel, but I've appreciated all the love on the videos. You guys really, a lot of comments constantly, a lot of good replies, you know, a lot of everything. So thank you all for the love and support on every platform. As always, you make this dream come true and i can't stress that enough so without further ado let's get right into it so super mario, mario party superstars not super mario party that's the other one um has been out since what the end of october now so we're entering we're about to be the game's about to be three months old you know so we're definitely entering that point of not necessarily like tired of it because like you know there is still a lot to, i mean with mario party you could pick up any mario party at any time and if you have the right group of friends you're gonna have a good time except if you have my friends then you're not gonna have a good time um but yeah so basically with the game right it's been it's in three months now, and it gets to that point where you're like okay you're super familiar with all the mini games you're super familiar with all the boards so it becomes sort of a little stale you know not too stale but it definitely gets to that point a bit where you're just like you want a change of dynamic uh a little bit you know what i mean which is why like a lot of times on stream we'll go back to older mario parties because there's a chunk to sort of switching things up but with this game, I feel like we definitely need more content. Now, we know there was some data mine content in the game pre-launch, but I figured it would be nice to just sort of think about what really could they add to this game because this game has so much potential. First of all, we don't even know how much it's sold yet. I think we're going to have Nintendo's financial meeting by the end of uh, January, so we'll know pretty soon how much how well this, this uh, game sold. And I guarantee you it's incredibly well because from the amount of like clips and content I had seen from this game on Twitter, it was way more than super mario party remember super mario you have to understand is one of the best selling switch games i think it sold like 13 14 million copies so i really think this game we're gonna find out it sold like three or four million copies within the first few months of its launch so i'm really excited to see i think this game needs to get more content now the scary thing to me, the scariest and worst idea is that they don't add content. You know, they're just like, they do what they do with every Mario Party, which is just like, here it is, goodbye. You know, I don't really count them adding online to uh, Super Mario as anything because they did that to test sort of how the online would work for Mario Party Superstars. Uh, but it's like in terms of new content gameplay, we have yet to see that in the Mario Party series. And I think this game is just so perfect for it because this is not like a new game you know this is a celebration of the past you pretty much have half the work done for you right which is you know the fact that these these things exist you have the blueprint for it you know you just have to obviously it takes a lot more work than i'm saying but you know what i mean where you have the ideas and concepts that it's just about executing them in the game because i'm, I'm trying to look here hold up where's my where's my little empty scene that i always put here uh to show uh the internet yeah so let's look at mario party one for example right we we don't even have like dk's jungle adventure we have ph's birthday cake which i really don't like this map one bit it just maps where it's basically about who gets the highest dice roll are never fun to me because it's just like well if like even if you win a bunch of mini games, if you're just low rolling, you're fucked because the stars in one place. So really not a fan of this map at all. We got your Shopiko, which I think is one of the best maps in the game. I think it's really fun. I like the dynamic of, you know, the two different islands, how they can switch sides, all this stuff. Really good shit. Um, we need Warriors Battle Canyon, bro. That would be so nice for Mario Party. What that would be a sick board. Uh, what's it called? Luigi's engine room would be really nice. Rainbow Castle. This is like a classic, like just thematically how it looks and stuff. Like I feel like this one would be super dope and then you got bowser's like dude how do we not because most mario party games not all of them but most of them have like this sort of final like bowser like map we don't have that in this game like from any of the three mario parties it would be even cool if they were like hey new dlc the bowser expansion right where it's like you get the bowser map from one uh you get the one from two you know bowser land and then you get the the what's it called well i guess you don't have one in three but you have waluigi design which is close enough to hell if you ask me but yeah no it would be really nice if we got we just need more boards like i mean i just feel like some of these would be so the eternal stars the final board of the game is unlocked after 100 stars again i don't even know this is a fucking board actually no i've seen this board that's crazy what that this looks like some fucking demon shit that looks horrifying all right but either way that's really cool so that's a mario party one again mario party 2 we have spaceland which is obviously hella dope but man pirate island i guess you don't need a pirate land because you already have like a beach so but give me like dude 
how is Western Land not in there, bro? That one is like, that is literally like the cover of Mario Party 2. It's one of the boards you are so and heavily associated with it. So give us Western Land. Again, we have uh, Horror Land, which is uh, always a fun map. I really think that one's dope. But you know, Mario Party 3 for a game that's one of the main three represented in the game has like nothing. It has Woody Woods. That's it. Like, come on, man. Give me Waluigi's Island. Give me what's it called Chili Waters. You know, give it, give me, give us the themes that are missing. You know, we need an ice map. We need a Bowser map. We need a desert map. Okay, I feel like these are the three sort of necessities. You know, anything else they can add that would be nice. But I feel like we need those three thematic boards, which would be really dope. So obviously, boards are things we've, we've all wanted, you know. But these are the things I think really we need to see there now. Next up, let's talk about, um, what's it called? Let's talk about characters. Because this game, man, let me tell you. It is rare. It is rare, all right, that I... Where, where's the image? Where's the image? Where's the image? I found an image of this. Where, I'm trying to find it. This currently is the roster of Mario Party Superstars. This is awful, all right? This is coming from me, right? I'm someone who's usually totally okay with what's called minimal rosters. You know, as long as there's the characters I like. I like playing as Mario in the game and stuff. But usually, when I have Mario, I have like a side character. I like, you know, where's my Lakitu? Where's my Toad? Where's my Shy Guy? You know, where's something, bro? This roster is dick, right? And before anybody says, oh, it's trying to be like the classic. Look who's right here. Eh. Rosalina. I don't even think Birdo was playable back then. So, I just... This roster, after the one from Mario Party Superstars, which is amazing, is just... It's just not cool, man. It really is not cool, and I think that is a key factor they need to do. Like I said, new characters aren't the biggest deal in the world. At the end of the day, it's Mario Party. I don't think there are hitbox differences or anything, so it's purely an aesthetic thing, but come on, man. Like, and like... I understand for some of the the characters the the stu to me the stupid argument which is like it's like they can't have Toad because Toads are on the map they can't have Toadette because she has a star like bro it's Mario who fucking cares all right Toads are everywhere in the Mario universe give me a blue Toad to play as them give me Captain Toad to play as you know where's Diddy Kong give me my boy Diddy Kong yeah bro give me Pom 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 Pom's out there you know give me Hammer Bro how many mini games have the Hammer Bros in this game I don't even think maybe one has. A but either way, like, I feel like they got away. Bowser, okay, Bowser Jr., I get, because he's heavily part of those, like, side mini games, you know, where you get the, but, like, you are a cool, you are a smart developer. I was going to say cool developer. You're a smart developer. You can definitely think of creative ways to make it so that, like, if you had Bowser Jr. playable, what would happen when you go into, like, those lucky spaces or whatever? I just think there are definite ways around this, you know, and I just think that the team could, it would be so good to just get more of these characters and be really nice and all that. So, obviously, boards, characters. Next one more unlockable stuff with money right we have this in-game currency of the game Sh like there's oh my god let me tell you something there's nothing worse in this world than like when you go to a shop and like the things you could buy are like wikipedia page entries like it's a fucking mar and it's a mario game too like okay i get it's not even a fun fact it'll be like waluigi is a cool character from the mario universe um uh you you get the one from like for like a, a, a goomba and it'll be like this is the iconic enemy mario Thompson. like bro if you're gonna give me like if you're gonna give me the, like the the quote-unquote like random stuff to buy in the shop at least give me like concept art right, you know give me something that's like oh shit like that would be cool to you know post on social media talk about I want to talk about fucking Thwomp's origin of how he, he fucking falls down. Because he's a little shit. Um, but yeah, no. So, I just want more stuff to unlock. Now, another obviously, like, the big one would be stickers, right? Stickers are a big part of the game that people really like. Like, I, I think... Oh, I voice cracked there. People really like the stickers. You know, obviously, as time goes on, you end up using them less because you've sort of seen them all. But it's always nice when they pop up and you hear the little sound effect. Um, but... What I want, a really good idea, I think, is if you paid more coins in the game, you could get animated stickers. That, ah, look at that, you, I, I know you just didn't think, we're like, oh shit, that would be cool, like, just, animated stickers would be so nice, you know, where you have Mario actually animating his, wow, or like, you have, I mean, let's not animate that frame of Yoshi where it looks like he's getting real, um, but like, for a lot of stickers, you can have animated ones, you can get some new animated ones, um, that would be like a really cool incentive, like I said, to play the boards, get money, and unlock these things, because I just think, like, the stickers are, they're not an essential part of the game, but there's something you see in the game, which would be really nice, and obviously, character costumes would be nice too, I know they're not gonna do them, but it would be nice, you know, like, you know, in Mario Party 2, 
and all this stuff. The characters have like the costumes. You got the Mario Cowboy and all this stuff. Character costumes would be really nice. I doubt they're ever gonna do it, sadly. Um, but that would be a really, really dope addition uh, to that stuff. But just give me more stuff to spend money on in the game. And obviously, what is a Mario Party game without its mini games, bro? Like, dude. I, I think they did an amazing job with a lot of the minigame selections in the game. I think they did an amazing job. But at the end of the day, Mario Party is Mario Party, right? There's only so many times you can play those same minigames that I'd be like, God, I want some more, right? And, there's, and because this is a celebration of Mario Party, you have the world to pick from. You know, you could pick more from the top 100 that you didn't pick. You know, you could pick more from Mario Party 1 through 3 that you didn't pick. More through... I mean, again, I'm talking a lot about Mario Party 1 through 3. There's, a, there's elements from... 4 to 8 in this game, you know, so I think that stuff there uh, is so important because you have mini games You can pull from all across the series. You got boards you can pull from from across the series I just think to me Mario Party Superstars is like it is a template. It's some to me This is the Mario Party that should be like the game as a service, you know, like this should be like the Call of Duty Warzone or Fortnite of Mario Party, you know, we're like every few months We should be okay to expect like hey, here's a new board Here's three, four new mini games from Mario Party 1 through whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, I think that stuff would incentivize like a lot of people to want to stick around, spend money in the game. It's like, and I know it's not the nature of Mario Party. Because the nature of Mario Party is, hey, you buy it, you play it for a few months, you hop in whenever you're with your friends, and then usually two two years later max three uh you get a sequel to a mario party game you get a new one but i think with this game this could be the game that holds you over to future mario party so i really do want this team to invest dlc and i think i really do think now it's not like a final thing but i think the next direct is going to be a big indication if the next direct we see dlc i'll be like okay good We're, we can expect dlc for this game if we don't see DLC announced in this game by the next Direct, I'll be like, it might be over. Because then by that point, for me, the, the final chance would be like the E3 Direct. Or like when they wake up randomly on Twitter and they announce DLC. But I really do think that next Direct is going to be a big indication of whether this game is going to get more content or not. So guys, let me know what you think. Let me know exactly what you want to see in the game. What specific board do you want? What mini games do you want? What characters exactly do you want? Tell me all your nerdy shit in the comments. I always read them and check them out. So of course, let me know. Like the video, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. I love you. Ah!